So this is where Tilda tried to reel you in. What was her proposal? That together you could save the planet? Just as your precious genetic mother always wanted? I believe the old ones called that a baited switch. Luring you with the promise of a vibrant new world. When in reality, it's doomed to be cracked open by nemesis and scoured of life. If you're trying to get a rise out of me about Tilda, it's not gonna work. And if you really believed we have no future, you wouldn't be here. And perhaps I'm just waiting to see if you can once again achieve the impossible. Speaking of which, my preparations for Nemesis have revealed a new problem. I've been searching the remains of the Zenith base for any data that could help us. In doing so, I discovered that 13 of our spacefaring friends descended to Earth from the Odyssey. But we only found 12 corpses total, including Verbena at the biotech lab. Your math is impressive as always, but yes. It appears that one got away. His name is Walter Landra. In the 21st century, he was an aerospace magnate, but also a bit of a celebrity. I'm sure I don't have to tell you that he's far too dangerous to be allowed to roam free. You need to find him and deal with him. So where do you think Landra went? The coast, far to the south. An area wracked by tectonic shifts and volcanic activity. The few Tanakh who have ventured there refer to it as the Burning Shores. But a thousand years ago it was called Los Angeles. A hub for the technology and entertainment industries. Landra's space mining company Heaven Sent was headquartered there. It stands to reason he would retreat to familiar territory. I'll send you the coordinates. So... Are you ready to track down our rogue zenith? Okay. To the burning shores, then. Proceed with caution, Eloy. I suspect Londra is even more devious and resourceful than the other zeniths. Aw, oh, silence. If I didn't know better, I'd think you were actually concerned about my safety. Hey, Beta, I'm actually on my way to the Burning Shores. Oh, right. Uh, Gaia and I heard about your mission from Silence. Be safe, okay? We'll be here if you need us. We'll do. Thanks. Andra's headquarters shouldn't be far. flying just now? Yeah, just, uh, not my best landing. Damn, more machines. Stay back. I'll handle this. Hold on. I can help, too. Let's see what you got. Fire gleam, but more volatile. Stranger.
got to hold your own. The name's Seika. Aloy. I could, uh, say the same about you. You have, you have a focus. focus. So you're Quinn. You're not exactly like any diviner I've met. How do you even know that? I'm sure you have a lot of questions, but first... Just one for now. I saw you before you crashed, flying on a sunwing. It didn't look like you knew about that tower, which means you're new. So what brought you here? I'm looking for someone. There's a ruin. On the hill northeast of here, that's where I was headed. A ruin on the hill? You mean Starlight Rise? You know it. Is there another way to get there? Maybe. But first, we're gonna have to do something about that tower. I think we can help each other, Aloy. The tower's not far from where my people made camp. I can show you the way. Uh, hold on. You said we can help each other, but what exactly are you doing here? Let's just say I need that tower dealt with too. Come on. This way. Follow me. We'll have to take my skiff to get to the settlement. What were you doing out here anyway? Here she is. I just need to attack. And I picked up. Hold tight. Never seen a boat like that before. Me and a gear head back at the settlement roped it together. Works well enough. That'll do it. Skiff's good to go. Hop in. Oh no. Not another one. Whoa. Like I said, there's no getting to Starlight Rise so long as that tower's there. Okay, casting off. Huh, sure beats rowing. I've had a lot of time to improve her design. How long have your people been here? Uh, about a year, I think. We hit this massive storm crossing the great ocean. Lost half the fleet and our bearings. It was a miracle we even made it to these shores. We've been stuck here ever since. See, I'm, uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Just how many of you are left? Not as many as there should be. We've had other troubles since the shipwreck. And some of those remaining aren't much help. Sounds like you're not thrilled to go back. Bringing back an outlander is certainly going to complicate things. It'll be fine. Just follow my lead and let me do the talking. If you say so. That's it on your left. Fleet's end. Uplifting name. We weren't in great spirits when we made landfall. Okay, here we go.
anything further. May I be dismissed? No. You will remain here until the traitor returns. You! Here we go. Sorry. One act of treason breeds another, it seems. Stealing a diviner's focus, leading a barbarian into our midst. Where's the Quinn I know? Arrest them both. Remove their focuses at once. Arrest us? This is a matter for the Admiral, not a compliance officer. <sighs> By all means. <laughs> it's true. Seika stole the focus. Who's the barbarian? She's done for. Things seem kind of tense around here. It's not our best day. Admiral Garrett! It's as I told you, sir. The proof is now before your eyes. A soldier dared to don a diviner's focus. The eye that reveals the legacy. But Seika did not stop there. She brought a barbarian among us. In direct violation of confidentiality clause 3A. Protocol states that these- I might be our last chance at finding our missing people, sir. Diviner Vi's focus showed me his last moments. He found a clue. The ruin on Starlight Rise. There's evidence our people were there. Andra's headquarters. Now we have no means of safe passage. Not in our current situation. But she might have another way. Remember the law, sir. Focus is for a Diviner. No one else. Seika's actions are indeed concerning. And there will have to be a reckoning. But finding our lost crew is paramount. If Seika has a chance of bringing them back, our course is clear. Even compliance must recognize that. I will allow it. Seika and the Outsider are free to pursue this lead. But, sir, if... Outlander, I'd like a word when you have a moment. Hmm. You okay? I shouldn't have said that. It's just that... My sister is one of the missing. Not only that, she's our last navigator. Our only means of getting home. I've got to find her. Even if it means using a forbidden relic. Meanwhile, Rang and the others act like I'm the problem, when in reality, I'm the only one looking for a solution. Look, I, I understand. Maybe more than you know, but... For now, I think we need to calm down I and just- I calm! You're right, of course. Getting upset isn't going to help. Okay. We both need to get to the place you call Starlight Rise. But that tower... Seems like it knocks anything nearby out of the sky. Out of the water, too. It fires at any watercraft in range. Oh, great. Well, it seems to me you've got some kind of plan in mind to deal with it. Maybe. Between the two of us, there might be a way. You think there's a way to do something about that tower? If we want to reach Starlight Rise, we have to try. I was able to approach the tower on foot, 
but I couldn't get close enough to shoot at it or anything like that. With the right help, though? Show me the way and we'll give it a shot. You'll probably want to resupply first. You can use my skiff if you need to hunt for resources. Just stay south of the settlement. The tower can't hit that side. I set up some buoys to mark its radius. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna go clear my head. There's a bridge that leads to the ruins where the tower is mounted. I'll wait for you on the other side. Hold on. There's one more thing. The, the Quen here, all of this. You were part of a larger expedition, right? Headed for San Francisco? That's how you know about us. And you've seen the others, haven't you? And they're alive. Most of them, yeah. I can put you in touch with them, but we should find your missing people first, right? They're alive. This is great news. But yes, you're right, it, it should wait. If we tell everyone now, it'll just be a distraction. So for the sake of the missing, we have to keep the focus on them. All right then, I'll see you on the other side of the bridge. Might not be a bad idea to resupply before I meet Seika. Or I could explore a little with her skiff first. Hey, I'm here. So, uh, how do we get to the tower? These trails will lead us to it. Take your pick. Okay. Let's go. So you know a lot about my people, but I barely know anything about you. Like who you're looking for at Starlight Rise? Uh, he's a, uh, fugitive. Come on, that's all you've got? Let's just focus on getting to the tower. So mysterious. Water wing. The other day, I saw the tower shoot down an entire flock. Poor things crashed into the sea south of Fleet's End. I've never seen one before. That tower's gotta go. We're getting close to the tower. Last time I was there, I didn't get very far in. We'll find a way. There's some kind of machine growth. I haven't seen that before. Kind of looks like an egg. Oh. There's a machine. here now. Got a 
jumper. And a ghost. Yeah. Good fight. Come on. The entrance I found is this way. Got somewhere else to be? I'll have to warn our patrols later. I doubt that machine was the only one of its kind. Feels like every day there's something new that's trying to kill us. I know the feeling. To get across. Think you can make it? This is as far as I got. I couldn't find a way to get further up. Let me take a look around. Fugitive, I need to know who we're dealing with. It can't be a coincidence that he and my people are both at Starlight Rise. His name's Walter Londra. He's a Zenith. It's what the Quen would call a living ancestor. A living ancestor? But that would mean he's been alive for centuries. Yep. Tides take me. You're serious. So, the other Quinn I met, they, uh, recognized me. I, I look like one of your ancestors. But I guess since your diviners are gone, none of your people here made the connection. Oh. Yeah, those of us left are just sailors and soldiers. After you?
Oh. Well, uh... There you go, Seika. Thanks. That vent open? I don't think it'll connect. If I time it right, I think I can grapple to that vent. She flies, she fights machines, and she has fancy moves. <laughs> Wish you'd come along earlier. Might have gotten more done by now. I bet you must be pretty important to your tribe. I grew up an outcast, actually. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm better off without them. And from what I saw back at the settlement, maybe you would be too? I am one of the chosen people. Not some weak-kneed sailor who abandons ship when the seas get rough. Okay. Never mind. Aloy! Shall we continue? at the top then we can find a way to shut the tower down <laughs> sounds like the tower has found another target tower down to another machine can't wait to shut it down Maybe. Never seen anything like this, but there's got to be a way to stop it. This might be some kind of access now. It's coming down! Aloy, I truly hope you've enjoyed this tower. I set it up just for you. Oh, great. A recording from Londra. Let it be a reminder that unlike my former colleagues, I'm one step ahead of you. Uh, that doesn't look good. Getting ready to fire it up. Get to cover! to stop this thing. Let me scan it. I'll draw its fire. It's got a power core on the back. 
I gotta get up there to destroy it. Hey! Just hurry! That didn't go exactly how I thought it would. It turned out okay. And now your machine can get us to Starlight Rise, right? Yeah. I saw it fly off when I crashed. I should be able to call it back. One step closer to finding my sister and the living ancestor you're after. But I should probably report to the Admiral first, give him some assurance that we've made progress. Okay. I'll meet you back at the settlement then. You know, I'm kind of glad you tagged along. This is not like other Quinn. That's for sure. And the tower down, I can check out the area before leaving up there. Let's talk about some resources while I'm at it. 